EVs taking too long to charge is no longer an excuse. You can now charge up your EV faster than it takes to fill up with gas. This right here is the world's fastest EV charger, capable of over 1,000 kilowatts of charging speed. That's right, it can add 400 kilometers of range in just five minutes. And we are here to put it to the test. Welcome to EV.com. Hello and welcome back to EV.com. Before we get started, don't forget to give us a like and a subscribe for more EV content. Range anxiety. A part of this is charging anxiety. Will there be charges where I need to go? How long will it take for me to charge? Will I end up sitting in a car park for hours? Well, BYD thinks that they have solved this problem. Today, I'm at one of BYD's stores to check out its megawatt charger and you won't believe how fast this thing is. So today I'm here to check on the one of 500 megawatt chargers currently in operation across the country. BYD has plans for 1,000 as well as some in some overseas markets. So in order to do this, we're gonna be using this. This is the Tung LEV, which comes with a 100 kilowatt hour LFP battery, but not just any normal LFP battery. This is their Super E, their kind of flash charging battery, capable of up to 1,002 kilowatts of charging speed, at least theoretically. We're gonna put this to the test today. It's a very hot day in Shanghai, around 38 to 40 degrees. So let's see what it's really capable of. All right, so I'm inside the uh, BYD Tang L with this Super E platform. All right, we've, we've immediately got to 999 uh, kilowatts of charging speeds. Oh, we're over, we're over. We are over 1000 kilowatts of charging speeds. So if you can see, it's actually adding around two kilometers per second. And you can see the percentage over here, how fast that is going up. We can't maintain these speeds. I heard it starts to slow down around 20%. Still maintaining 1000, we're almost at 15% now. So we've just added way over 100 kilometers in the time I've been recording. So from six to 22%, we've been at around 1,000 kilowatts of charging speed. Right now we've charged over 150 kilometers of range. Okay, now it's slowed down. We've come out of the animation and we're now we're at 852 kilowatts of charging speed. So it's still really, really fast, but you'll notice the music has stopped and the animation has changed because we're not at the thousand kilowatts of charging speed. So this is telling us that it'll be 12 minutes for us to get to full. And if we're gonna go to 70%, that's just four minutes, another four minutes, but actually it's going down pretty fast. So now it's dropping to under 700, um, we're around 30, 38%, 35%. So while we do have 1000 kilowatt charging speed, obviously it's only good for a certain amount of time. That's the peak charging speed. So now we've dropped into a kind of steady around 700 kilometers. As the car gets more and more full up, this is gonna slow down even more. So just as I said that, we're now at 617. Uh, kilowatts of charging speed. So still super, super, super quick. Just in another two and a half minutes or so to get to 70%. This is crazy. This is, uh, I've seen fast charging before, but nothing like this. Already charged to 50%. So we just had the test of the Super E platform from BYD and that was incredible. So we saw the car go from six to 70% in around six minutes. So that's about 500 kilometers added in just six minutes, which is absolutely nuts, which is definitely on a level with filling up your car with gasoline. 
it was able to maintain that or around a thousand kilowatts of charging speed uh, until around 25 26 percent and then it went down to a uh, very reasonable between six and seven hundred uh, kilowatts of charging speed so really really impressed really amazed with this this is really a game changer and if this is something that could be a regular thing and everywhere then it could change the way people feel about evs i mean if it takes six minutes to charge up your ev to almost full then range anxiety doesn't exist anymore. But what do you think? How does this compare to chargers where you are? And would you like to see this Super E platform on your streets? Make sure you let us know in the comments. This high voltage battery system actually gives greater performance to the cars due to their higher discharge rates. Although these vehicles look kind of normal, this Han L I'm sitting in today does zero to 100 in 2.7 seconds. That is absolutely rapid. And thanks to a very strong thermal management system, despite these massive charging and discharging speeds, the batteries in these vehicles will not degrade at an abnormal rate. In fact, these batteries come with exactly the same warranty as a BYD blade battery, despite the massive voltages going in and out. If your charger isn't fast enough, don't worry, these new cars from BYD actually have two fast charging sockets. That's right, they can plug into two chargers at the same time, meaning double the charging speed. Incredible. BYD has made it their duty to remove range and charging anxiety. The boss has even said that he wants charging an EV to be faster than filling up with gas. Now he has done this, will we see more of these mega chargers all over the place? Well, while the chargers are fast, they're actually faster than many EVs are actually able to charge today. So while it's great to have these tech, it's a little bit ahead of the times at the moment. Some questions still remain, which is these megawatt chargers, what kind of burden will they have on the grid? Second, will they be extremely costly? You know, usually the faster the charge, the more it costs to charge. And thirdly, and perhaps most importantly, do we really need five minute charging? Or have we gone too far? Is it really a question of faster charging speeds or do we need to continue to improve charger availability? Let us know what you think in the comments. Regardless, the idea of being able to charge your EV faster than filling up with gas is a great idea and i hope we see it all over the place in the future what do you think of byd's megawatt charging do you think it is useful tech and would you like to see it in your country make sure you let us know in the comments below be sure to give us a like and a subscribe i'll see you next time